Hello everyone. This is David at Grow and Eat This. It's August 30th, 2019. Uh, kind of a cool morning for once. Thank you very much, Lord. Gotta tell you, this is one of my hardest times of the year. These are my sweet potato plants and they're doing really nicely. So they're doing well and then I've got lots of good peppers running along here. And then in here, who knew marigolds would get that big? There's eggplants in there, lost somewhere. Then a bunch more peppers. As we come down to the end here, here's a bunch of late planting of beans, cucumbers, some more tomatoes, and the impossible weeds. These weeds are impossible. You can pull them all, come back in two days, and they're all back again. I've been doing it for years. Don't know how to get around them. Here's one of my problems for this time of year. I've cleaned this big long bed out, and this is usually the one that I put a high tunnel over. Yet, we're still in the 90s. I certainly can't put out the fall things, the bok choy, beets, and stuff. But wouldn't this be a great place? I could put a super large late planting of, of uh, climbing beans and an early planting of edible potted peas or Chinese peas using the cattle panels. But of course then that will mess up planting those fall crops. So I, I still, every 15 minutes I change my mind. I don't know what I want to do here. Then when we come down here and we start hitting some of the sad parts of the garden, uh, these tomatoes you know, we're still getting some tomatoes, but obviously they're done. I really need to get these things pulled out because I could plant other things of value in here. And then when we come down, I've got some more peppers. And then check out, this is, there's white sweet potatoes, purple sweet potatoes, and I think there's two orange sweet potatoes. And they have taken over probably a 12 foot square and they're continuing to grow. So this is a, you know, this is one of the successes coming along. And then you look at these tomatoes and you go, wow. These tomatoes have got to get cut and pulled and put down in the woods. I certainly don't want them anywhere near my soil in the future. Then we've got more sweet potatoes that are just taking over. And this is easily the best growing of ginger I've ever had. I've got two containers and they're just doing great. And then my turmeric is looking like the turmeric from last year. Except I've, I've got four plants instead of two. And this is incredible. Look at this stuff. Absolutely amazing. Then we come around here to a, another eggplant. Now we'll shift down, in an earlier video you saw, these are the four tomatoes I replanted after I pulled some out. And as we get down in here, you can see they've got lots of tomatoes on them. These guys here are still hanging in a little bit. This one on the end is in real trouble. Then we come down to my second row here, and we move back into the land of just sad, sad tomatoes. I'm going to pick what I can get off of these and then get them pulled. And the good news is, is that I actually have, I think, three more small tomato plants that I can put in here and see if I can get us a late harvest. This batch of aromas here, as sad as the plant is, is really trying hard to give me a last little batch. So, you know, this time of year is pulling out things that are really trying to hang on but they're just not going to make it and then there's other things that are saying the weather is wonderful let's just take over the garden so that's where we are today this is zone 7 northeast of Atlanta late August supposed to be back up in the 90s for the next week so this is like the last little bit of a cool morning and who knows what that hurricane is going to do uh, it's probably not going to affect us much at all. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe. 
and don't give up on your garden fall time's coming and there's all kinds of things to plant in the fall well what I decided to do was to cut the bed down which I wanted to do either way and then since I didn't know whether I wanted to put cattle panels up and grow beans which would make it hard to put in beets and carrots and cabbages later on or did I want to hold it I decided that when I'm mad at myself about the cabbages in two months I'll be eating the beans so I've cleaned all, shrunk the bed down to where it's 30 inches wide I can reach across it put in three posts hung the cattle panel also dug a trench and put in my favorite Musica Romano beans I only had enough beans to do this eight foot section but I had saved some of my own beans so I planted them down here so we'll see how that does now if you're looking at it you can see I've got a three line drip hose in I had it running for 30 minutes to water those bean seeds and frankly I had just a couple little wet dots it was pathetic uh, I never have managed to figure out how you actually get anything wet with these little drip hoses so I actually you know got a regular hose and soaked this down I left the drip hose because I'm tired of messing with it if I have to if I pull it up now as, as unhappy as I am with it I'll probably throw it away uh, it just never gets the, the ground never gets wet three lines on the same spot in a half hour the water ought to be wet but it wasn't so I had to soak this down myself with another water line so I got the cattle panel up I got 16 feet I got Musica Romano beans it's August 30th zone 7 northeast of Atlanta it's 90 something degrees I am soaking wet and about to keel over this is David at Grow and Eat This hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe give it a like tell on YouTube hey these are pretty cool videos thank you for watching I'll get some more up as soon as I can